It has been 311 days since I started playing this amazing game of golf. And today, I score my best ever round. That was so pure. That was the purest five iron I've ever hit in my entire life. <laughs> The greatest golf coaches on planet Earth have been molding my game to become a scratch golfer, and the next milestone on this journey is to break 85. Do I do it today? Can I go even lower than anyone's expectations? Let's stop wasting time, S2, and let's go. Let's get after it. We're gonna have a good day today. Comment down below what you think. Before I even watch the end of the video, what I'm gonna get on this. We'll see who wins. Also, no visor today. <laughs> Maybe it's some good luck. Let's get after it. Okay, so today is interesting. One is like, I guess there's like a, um, some type of event happening in front of us. So there's like five, 10 parties. I don't know, like crazy amount of parties here. So it's going to be backed up today, but, and I think we're the last one. So there's no one behind us, which is great. <laughs> Everyone's just like watching me. There's like 20 people that were just watching me from who already finished and there's a lot of pressure, but we striped it down the middle. Can't complain. Probably hit that about 280. Let's go find it. Have a good day today. Again, everything's about control. Everything's about ease. Let's get after it. Let's get after it. The last time I was here, we were about 15 feet, I think, for birdie and it was a bogey. So uh, that's not happening today. Slightly chunk that. It is, it is gonna be a battle just going from a good shot and then waiting five minutes, 10 minutes, hitting the next shot. All right, about 138 to the pin. Um, new strat. We're basically hitting up on our clubs, but it's a little smoother. We're hitting nine iron. Let's go. <laughs> oh my God, look at that shot, dude. Not bad at all, dude. Pretty good shot. This is uphill, which is exactly, we have a chance for bird. Ooh. Oh my God. Remember when I said, uh, we're gonna make birdies into, we're not gonna make a birdie into a bogey? Yeah, we just did that again. <laughs> it's okay though. I skirted that, I skirted that uh, birdie putt. That was no bueno. I got a little too aggressive, uphill. All right, so I kind of want to do driver here. I'm feeling like a little more calm with my driver. We're gonna aim a little left here of the pin, just cause we have a good amount of space over there, but we're gonna avoid those trees on the right direct shot right here. I should have just played for par. Like just get it up there. No need to like every I, I know every every sh every putt that I is a bad is when I accelerate from that I just need to like kind of like even keel and it'll be fine but we're avoiding the trees on the right so we don't have to punch anything. Yeah, right now we're like pretty much taking 30% off the driver swing. It's feeling a lot better. Um, but again, down the fairway. I feel like I could start like just driving these par fours just with that speed. We'll get at least 260 out of that, 250, which will be a lot better than trying to send a five iron 220. So I'll just keep doing that. Kind of didn't compress it, kind of hit it up, a little floppy, but we got a good shot at the pin. Let's get a pitching wedge here at 56 degree and get after it. So, not the worst, not the worst, come on. I'm gonna take the 56 degree here, just because it's kind of on the ump ramp. Looks like it's right to left. Let's just get the feel here.
We got a par, bogey par. Man. And then, yeah, it's par three here. Got a lot of space to work on the left side on this one. All right, so exactly where I was aiming. Um, I think we're on the green. Maybe you said right of it. Yeah. Let's get this little putt action. Let's get a test. I, I kind of like all the, I mean, it's a little difficult for me right now, just like up and down hill putts, but it's good practice just to get distance control, but can't complain about that shot. Cannot complain about that shot. Yeah, we're on the oh, green. Oh no, you are on the green, check that. Yes, sir, okay. It's downhill, left to right. Yeah. I towed it. Towed it. Ah, oh, it didn't break. That's another one we gave up. It's good to go from a birdie, potential birdie par to a bogey. Um, yeah, downhill putt, got scared that, that it would kind of take and then go way past. And so I hesitated, hesitated, made me tow it, and the lack of speed and the tow it made me short. So the second putt was a little better. Um, just read that wrong. I thought it had a little left to right, went completely straight. We're moving on. That was, that's a boob D. Sit. Um, cool, so this is why, this is actually like a good tip, and this is what Dana keeps telling me, like that went a little right because the club pace was open, um, but that's why I kind of have spot, I was aiming a little left of the green area, uh, just in case that happened. So let's, let's see. Okay, so this is about 101 yards playing 105. Um, previous shot with the A wedge, we were trying to go soft to get 100 yards and it was short. So we're gonna hit a pitching wedge, uh, kind of soft pitching wedge. I think we'll get 100 yards. Oh. Okay, okay. Nice and controlled, nice and controlled. Main thing right now is just try to, every single shot regardless of messing up, you just stay uh, level-headed. Had a bad shot on that previous one. And now we're basically, you know, next shot. Let's go. Good speed. It should have been at least a, at least a par, man. No, no worries. Next hole. We're gonna lay this up. Five iron, uh, right before the canal. Pretty good strike. Might be a little short of the canal. But before we even go and see where that bullet of a five iron went, it would mean so much if you guys can quickly subscribe and like the video. If you do, the golf gods will make you hit a 300 yard drive the next time a cart drill passes by your group. So please hit that like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Slightly, slightly chunked. Slightly, but that's kind of what I expected on the ball flight just because it's a little downhill. Okay, got out of there with a par. Yeah, we're feeling laser focused right now. The, um, I, think you got, I think a lot of you guys in, regard, in the comments are just like, you, know, you gotta loosen up. Um, and all this stuff and you got to go a little more feel stop being so mechanical but my 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 track record or like hmm, when I play sports you know especially when I start learning it's going to be like that when you've got to go through all the motions you got to get fundamentally sound and it's not going to look pretty and I mean we're only like what 10 and a half months in but eventually it's going to iron out but if I personally believe if you don't feel mechanical 
and very rigid at the beginning, then you're not going to ingrain good habits. And so right now I'm feeling a little better. Things are getting smoothed out a little bit, but you know, I think, you know, it's going to doing those things early in the beginning for longer is better for long-term gain. And so that's what's kind of happening now. Everything's kind of feeling a little bit better, feeling a little more dialed. We're feeling good. I'm feeling dialed today. That's all I'm gonna say. Avoiding drivers on this shot, and then this area, if I hit it just 220, solid, and this on this fairway, we got like another five iron, get it close to the green, and then we have a nice pitch in to get on green on three. We got five iron. I think this is about two, I don't know, 250, 260. So probably not gonna get there, but we'll get close. Uh, open the club face too much. Those shots there where it's kind of like the feet's above me versus, you know, I kind of, I can't rotate fully. And so I end up pushing it a lot. So we're kind of in the rough under this tree, but I don't think this tree is going to impede us. It's about 115 to the pin over there. I'm going to take a pitching wedge, kind of do an 80% swing here. Kind of just have it more controlled again. Yeah, it's a little to the right. Okay, so a little right of the green there. Uh, I, I know why that's happening. It's hitting the hosel. It's cause like, even though I'm rotating okay, this arm on my right is getting separated and then it's kind of pushing out. And because it's pushing out, it's coming in like this. Yeah, I should have did less than that. That was, that was definitely the line. Just needed to land it a little less. Uh, less. Get out. Oh. I should have known that was gonna happen. I was in the rough and caught the hosel. I made it pull left, so it's okay. We got our first double bogey, but you know, don't be phased. We were like in a precarious situation there in a lot of shots. We hit the hustle, I think, twice on those shots, but um, again, it's basically releasing it at the, basically getting this extended out, which is causing that uh, hustle shot. So it's okay, we got 144, par three. Let's get this. All right, so this is about 144. I'm gonna hit a nice smooth eight iron, a little to the left here. Uh, we end up going a, little, a lot to the right sometimes, which causes a lot of double bogeys, but let's just get this on the green. Yes, sir. Yeah, so that's kind of like my new strad with a lot of this, and it feels a little uh, nicer. We got there, I think we're pretty close to the green, hopefully. Oh man, I, mean, I forgot, I didn't see this uphill. Okay, so straight down the fairway, but um, it's, it's like I'm hitting these fades right now, which is not what I'm trying to do, but it's like, I guess a good miss in a sense. All right, so we got 128 to the pin. It is very windy again. It's um, maybe like 10, 10 miles an hour right now. We're gonna hit a nine iron uh, full swing. That was a held off nine iron, kind of accelerated through the shot. The wind was like at 10 miles an hour, 128. Seemed like the right shot at 140. We're on the green. Let's go. All right, so we're still short. I mean, I chunked that shot, 
uh, which makes sense. If, and I didn't do it. I, I held it off. I should have done a full nine iron. I was getting, I mean, don't do this, but in mid swing, I was like, I don't, I still need to gauge how far this wind will take it back. But I think if I did a full and I didn't chunk it, maybe got to it or I don't know, a lot of variables there, but we're in the green, can't complain. We've got like a 40 foot putt here. I'm gonna leave the pin in actually, it's so far, but let's see. Nice. All right, we got a par there. Yeah, that was really good distance control. I didn't see that break though. Uh, that was a straight shot. I mean, yeah, maybe it was a little left to right. I, I kind of just wanted to go straight at the pin. I thought my speed was going to do it, but uh, I, get, I gave it a chance for sure. All right, we got 155 plane, 165 wind to the left, about 10 miles an hour. We're going to aim a little to the left, seven iron. We should have hit a six iron. I mean, slightly, slightly hit behind, but like not that far behind. <laughs> this one was like the hole that I always get like double or triple bogey. And so I was like, the only thing I was just telling myself in my mind was like, slow down. It's like any other hole, just swing easy. Even if you're short, it's fine. But we were short. <laughs> uh, I should have done a full, like I didn't like fully follow through because I wanted to feel more controlled than anything but um, we got a nice pitch up here and then let's get a putt okay so this is in the rough a little 60 degree I kind of want to land it soft let's get a little to the right of this that was the only hole that I ever felt like would be a problem <laughs> at this we got it, dude. We got it through. Let's go, baby. Oh, I let that go. I let that go. Oh, man. The nerves always gets to me the most and on the 10th hole because <laughs> it's like the turnaround and everyone, that's a time when everyone kind of sees <laughs> like me filming and expects me to be good because I have a camera, but I'm not. <laughs> I like that swing, but there's still wind. I, I keep like discounting that. More court. <laughs> yeah, we should have gave it a little more umph. I left it short. I left it. I. <sighs> Um, heel shot, again, not the greatest, but we know how to fix that. Just feeling way too disconnected. Basically something I need to talk to Dana about. That one I slightly popped up. I think I'm taking a little bit too high or getting ahead of the ball, but we got space over there. It should be fine. 153. Wind's ahead of us, so I'm gonna hit a seven iron, like 90%. Sit, sit. That was, that was filthy. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was like, <laughs> I don't know if you could hear the sound of it, but it was like, <laughs> I think this is gonna go, oh, it's uphill too. Oh man, that was perfect, perfect, perfect shot. Sit. That was bad. That was really bad. Oh my god. Four! It's slightly faded. I gotta get that uh, face a little more closed, but I think we should be playable over there. We could get it through here, but I'm just gonna put, chip it out on the left side here. Have a good shot at the green. Try to get there uh, with like a chip. We got hit this like 90 yards, five iron. Oh, 
I hit it directly straight at this tree. <laughs> dude, uh, punched out, went up here, came back over there, dude. We got 171, again, on hard pan, so it's probably gonna come out like super low and super fast. So I'm gonna hit this with a, like a 70%, 80% seven iron. Oh my God. That wasn't great. I uh, stood up right before impact again. These hard pan shots, man, they'll get you. They'll get you. Oh my goodness. A lot of, man, that, that's a evil shot again. I gotta I keep coming out like this. I need to just stay in. Oh. That's it. Okay. Let's get that. I like that. I like that. We saved an atrocious hole slightly. Got a double bogey. If I hit the five off the tee, I'd probably get a par there. A lot of, uh, that was a mental. That was a mental breakdown. A lot of those shots too. I've hit so many times, but the chip that I got short. I l literally told myself this is gonna be a bad shot. While mid swing, I don't know why I did that to myself, but I did. All those har <laughs> there were three hard pan shots the entire time. Yeah, these are just small things. These are just like kind of just playing a smarter play. Drive went slightly right, faded right. Didn't like close the face. I'll know that a little better next time because. Um, I play like the front nine a lot, in a sense, just kind of like practice, and I know that the front nine a lot better uh, on where to hit it. Starting here, I kind of played this not too many times, so note, hole 12, aim a little more left. <laughs> hole 13, par 4, 365, let's get it. All right, this is uh, par 4, 365. I like hitting driver here just because it's super wide open to the right, but I'm aiming it at that little yellow tree and i've been kind of cocking my wrist here like this i'm gonna keep it more controlled and so we could kind of control the swing direction ah uh, wasn't great i like tensed up right before and i hit way behind the ball probably went like 100 and 50 yards. <laughs> 210. Let's hit a five iron. Okay, well, that's what we're doing. We've been swinging out our shoes the last couple times just to try to get there. No need. Too much. Oh, I aimed there. I aimed to the left more. Okay. It is what it is. We got par five here, 576. Let's just feel a little more connected with this swing here. That was a good drive. Come on. Let's try to hit a five iron. Stay a little more connected. Gotta rotate through the ball, not get up. Held that off more than I wanted to. I'm just trying to feel super controlled with my swing. I think we're right before the sand trap. Chip it up there. I don't know if you watched the previous episode, but we landed like literally the same place here. I forgot what I took. I think a six iron and I was short, so we're gonna hit a five iron. Um, pretty much straight, but yeah, pin high. We could probably pitch it in there and then get a nice like pot, hopefully for par. Let's get it. All right, 56 degree here. Let's just be mentally engaged on how far this is going to go. It's a long shot. Oh, 
we pulled it. We were on the slope and we went like this. Gotta feel that, but we're on the green. Okay, this is part four, 350. Um, I'm gonna aim a little left, like basically at that sand trap over there, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see how far we can, we'll see how far we can send this. Driver needs a little bit of work. Uh, so it's, it's like the biggest thing, man. Like for me, the the driver is so hard for me to like land left, rotate, do all that stuff. But I mean, so it came a little out to in. I mean, it's still in the, straight in the fairway, just a little slight pop up. I got ahead of it, got to stay back, allow, allow this to kind of just land and then kind of go through. I think we have a lot of space on the left side, slightly downhill under our feet. So might go to the right a little, so slight aim left. short again i held it off i just want to feel control on on those shots that are like under me and right now that's kind of how i'm getting control all right 60 degree it is just want to land it like soft every time i had a 56 degree kind of like shoots out a little bit so a little more controlled landed softer that's it Yes, something like that. I think it's soft. Should aim a little more left, but we're okay. Yes, sir. Got a par out of that. Um, I was still a little, man. So that's the thing about the short game. That's like, for the 60 degree, that's where the spot I was trying to land at. Like literally, I was like, that is the spot I'm landing. And I thought it was gonna release more, like slightly bounce, but that's what I get more, get more used to on how far it's gonna go. It, it's, it, it, it literally dropped down and like released like two, three inches, uh, which makes sense. 60 degree has a lot more of in, but um, just something to note, like later on, I just gotta land a little farther next to the hole, but came out of their par. We got, we got three more holes in, three more holes left. Uh, let's try to at least get pars in these and, or birdies. We still need our first birdie. We missed the chance on uh, the par five uh, on hole one, but you know, we're playing okay. We're playing okay, 389, par four. We're gonna hit a five iron and just play smart on this one for sure. Sit, 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 sit. I wanted to, I should have aimed a little more left, but I think we're, we're gonna be at a good spot. Hopefully we're not in like the, the tree. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Hopefully we're not in the completely the trees. This is that's fine. <laughs> we are definitely in the trees. <laughs> Go. That was a good shot. Slightly pulled it. Dang it. Oh, you go, yeah. Okay. Five iron, let's get it on the green. Nice and easy stroke. Not the worst. We're on the green. All right, we got a we got a far the one, ladies and gentlemen. But we've been practicing lag putts. This is going right to left. Oh, well, yeah, you know, after that horrific tee shot, it's not the worst thing to get a bogey from that. Like. 
<laughs> that was a good good pacing good touch on the putt I'm getting a little more accustomed to lag putts just distance control which is good next thing is uh reading greens a lot better um right now i think we're like uh reading a little low way lower than usual but not the worst <laughs> let's get after it all right it's been a long day it's been it started off like already so slow. so slow like probably one of the slowest days i think they were having like a um like an event here and so like this jam-packed jam-packed and we like this you know we're like the last last ones in that pack but i think a lot of them like kind of dispersed after the front nine um overall this day i feel like we we should play it better as i think like everyone says but we played relatively decent i haven't looked at the scorecard yet so we'll see how it all adds up but um you know feel good relatively there's a lot of things to practice a lot of questions i have especially my swing the back swing feels like so for longer clubs like not the greatest and i know it's coming a little steep and so I just gotta iron that stuff out driver has been kind of all over but the short game has kind of improved um there's going to be a guy I keep mentioning and alluding to, but there's a short game wizard who's going to start helping with us long term. And he's going to help, you know, with helping reading greens, getting better with pots. Chipping is probably the most important thing around the green and then like within 100 yards. And so we'll get dialed. It's going to be really fun because like he's really good still. He played on the tour um, for for so long. And he still has game, and so we'll play a lot of game, a lot of uh, not matches, but like we'll play out on the course. You'll see him like stripe a bunch of shots. So I'm excited for to share that with all of you. Um, but we still need to get this swing dialed. Like I feel like I'm, I'm like so close. Like I kind of understand all the kinematics on how to get what I'm desiring, but it's just like there's like this fraction where I'm coming out too much here, here, and here, and yeah, I'm just trying to perfect a lot of these things, and so. 18th hole here, let's get after it. Uh, I'm gonna hit a five iron and then let's get it up there. Yeah, the last time I was here was freezing, it was sub zeros. <laughs> Not ideal. Yeah. That's like the thing with my backswing, I'm not, when it's longer clubs, it feels like I'm like losing, um, I'm just like bringing it back, but let's go nice and easy here. Let's just get below this uh, hill and then swing kind of solidly, full fall through. That was so pure. That was the purest five iron I've ever hit in my entire life. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wow. Last call. Yep, yep. <laughs> you, you just hear the sound of that smack, yep. dude. All right, this is playing 66, so I'm gonna hit like 75% hold off 56 degree. I forgot what the green looks like, so I'm just gonna get it up there. Get up. Okay. We'll take it. We'll take it. Yep. Better balance. Um, it's always hard to like rotate on downhill. I slightly pulled it. I was really trying to like not go that, but like the balance slightly got me in and I kind of pulled that slightly left, but we're up there. We're putting, we're chipping for birdie. Let's end this on a good note. Let's ha we're having fun today. We're having fun today. Oh, I chunked it too. Oh. oh, let's go. Oh man. We uh, ended with a bogey on that one. Unfortunately, we chunked that. Well, that just means we got to practice short game, man. Let's, I mean, you guys probably already have the final score on the screen, but let's let's count it let's see what we got the best i've ever performed was an 89 so let's 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 figure let's see what the scorecard says huh let's see what the scorecard says okay okay so let's count let's count one two three okay well 
we scored our best ever, <laughs> which is great. We didn't break 85, but we got an 87. Not too bad, not too bad. A lot of things to correct, and we're just gonna grind. <laughs> Thanks for being along the ride. I'll see you guys later, peace. <laughs> Ah, what a round, what a round. Although we had the best ever score on this channel, there is so much left to do to get the scratch. So, hit that thumbnail, click it right over there. Keep grinding with me, and I'll see you over there.